This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about some of Adobe Illustrator's transforming capabilities using some of the tools and some manual stuff too. I will admit that a lot of the tools that began in Adobe Illustrator for the purpose of manipulation were not anywhere as near friendly and easy to use as they are today. It used to be really difficult to change anything, to be honest with you. What we're going to do is start with an object. We have to have something to manipulate, rotate, and scale. Pick up this tool right here. It's called the ellipse tool. I want you to draw an ellipse, something like that. Actually, you can draw anything that you want, but my goal is to make a sunflower. And that's going to be one of the petals in the sunflower. We're going to use rotate scale, a couple other things to make it work for us. I'm from the United States. I currently live in a state called Kansas. Kansas is sometimes called a sunflower state. We grow them seven feet tall, and they look, I mean, they just look intimidating. When you pass a field of them, you get the feeling they're watching you for some reason. Reminds me of the movie Day of the Triffids. You might want to look that up if you want more information on it. What I want to do now, actually, is change that to a yellow. Pick up my selection tool, which obviously gives me the ability to maneuver, select it, do whatever I want. Make sure the fill option is selected here. And I'm going to come over here to my swatches and choose a nice, bright Kansas sunflower yellow, something like that. If it doesn't have a stroke, put one on it. And that would be coming down here and clicking that button and going ahead back here and just clicking the color black. Give it a stroke. We need that on there, too. Go back to our fill. What I need to do now to it is change the color a little bit in terms of a gradient. I want it to get darker as it goes toward the center. This is going to be my center. So we select it and go into our gradient palette right here. And let's go into a linear gradient. I want that gradient at 90 degrees. Let's start by making both the colors the same. So I'm going to go to this crayon or the gradient slider right there. Hold the Alt key down and go into your swatches and click the yellow. Now that will make sure that is that sunflower yellow. Go to this one right here and click it. Hold the Alt key down and click again. That's option on a Mac. So it's one solid color right now. What I want to do is darken this side up, make it a little bit different. So I'm going to go into my color panel, pull that out so you can see that. And here, if you don't see the RGB sliders, you want to go here and go RGB. If you don't see any options at all, click here where it would say Show Options. Because what I really want to do here is make sure this crayon is selected, that gradient slider. And I'm going to move this in. As you can see, it will begin darkening up that area. I want to make it a little bit darker. Now we can also do this. That's the center point for the mix between the bright yellow and the darker color I created. You want a little bit more at the top, you can. So something like that. I'm going to move that back up here. All right, we're rolling along here. Got the gradient done, let's close that for now. The shape is good, but it's too perfect. And what I want to do is mess it up just a little bit. We're going to select it again. We're going to go up to the word Effect on the pull-down menu, and we're going to go down to Distort and Transform. Go into Roughen. What Roughen does, as you can see, is it roughs it up. Now, I don't want that much. I want it less than that. I want to smooth corner it, and what we're going to do is knock down the detail, and obviously knock down that size a little bit. I don't need it that much. Something maybe like that. Just a little bit distorted. Let's go one more down. Something like that. Click OK. I'm happy with that so far. What do we do next? Well, we need to make the others that go around in a circle, and we will use the Rotate tool for that. Understand, if I have that selected, I can rotate it all day long. I can hold the Alt key down and make copies. But in order for me to effectively make these pedals in an efficient way, that's not the way I want to do it. We're going to use the Rotate tool right here. The Rotate tool works if you hold the Alt key differently than if you just come over here. You can click and you can drag and you can rotate. What we want to do, hold the Alt key, Option key on a Mac, and get right down here at the bottom and click one time. Two things are going to happen. It's going to change the center point, which is what I want. And it's going to actually open up the Rotate dialog box. What we want in here, and I did this before, that's why that number is there. We need a number that's divisible exactly by 360, and negative 15 is divisible into 360. And as you can see by the preview, it's doing 
a rotation around that center. It's exactly what I want. Click Copy, not OK. A feature in Illustrator that I really like is duplicate the last thing you did, and it is Control D. If I press Control D, don't do anything else, you can then begin making the rest of the petals, and it will indeed go around evenly. And we got that done. And that darker color toward the middle is making it look more like it's three dimensional and sinking in. We need to put a circle in the middle. Well, let's do this. Pick up your ellipse tool again. Hold on the Alt key along with the Shift key, both. Now that's going to draw from center and keep it a perfect circle. Say something about like that. But we need to change the gradient. So we'll pick up our selection tool and make sure it's selected and go back into our gradient. In this case, we want a radial. And what I want on the outside is black. So that's this color right here. So we're going to select that gradient slider, go into our swatches, hold the Alt key down, don't forget, and click to make that black. And then, of course, we can adjust where we want the two colors to meet. So that's not too bad. I, I kind of like that. What about scaling? The scaling process is going to involve changing some of the leaves just a little bit. What I want to do here is pick up a couple of these leaves by clicking and holding the Shift key down, right? And selecting a few more. Now, they don't have to be in any particular order. They can be just random. That's fine. And so we've got these selected. Now what we're going to do is come over here and pick up this tool, which is the Scale tool. We're going to click right in the middle. Hold the Alt key down and click right in the center. Notice the Alt click did two things. It set my non-moving point right there. So the edges are going to go in and out, not here. And that's exactly what I want. We can change the scaling. Let's go down to, oh, let's try 85%. And again, watch what happens. Just the selected ones go down in size by 85%. We can go ahead and click OK and maybe choose a few more. So we go ahead and select maybe this one and this one and this one and this one. Same idea. Come over here and hold the Alt key down right there with that same tool. And we can do the same thing. Maybe we make these a little bit bigger. In other words, we're making the flower less than perfect by using rotate to get the petals out there and scale to make it different. And we did add a few other things. We did a roughen to uh, make the flower petals look a little bit different. And we did use some gradients, a couple of other things to make it what it is. But using rotate and scale are great tools, actually, for playing around and well, doing things like sunflowers and a nice Kansas sunny day.